Hey guys, what's up? This is Gaum, and welcome to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Now, before we get started, I do want to say that this is going to be a mostly blind Let's Play. Uh, I only got to play like 10 minutes of Jack and Daxter way, way, way back when I was like 10, 11, somewhere back in the past. So yeah, I'm not going to know what's going to happen, but uh, a lot of people voted for this game, so let's get it started. There is no save data. Well, the... I guess we gotta make one. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old Green Stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man, are you gonna keep yapping or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. 
Gal Acheron, the sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark gooey eco stuff, will we? Cause I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. Oh, oh, I actually have control now. They really like kind of keeping you out of the game for a while. I think I give you an entire cutscene. Now, let me see if I can find a, uh, I can find subtitles. Okay, that's slightly worrying. I can't find subtitles, which is the main reason how come I wasn't talking over any of that cutscene. I don't like talking over things when you can't, like, see an exchange. Uh, some words down below, but you know what, whatever. This is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Well, that's good. Okay, yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm, I'm glad we're doing this tutorial. So, uh, I'm gonna press buttons now. Square. Hey! There you go. Oh. Triangle. Oh. Hey, hey. I'm gonna aim with an inverted control. Oh, no. I'm not doing that. We're not doing any inverted control shenanigans like that. Camera options. Uh. Vertical camera. Flipped? Wait. God, this is weird. There we go. Okay. I just have to make sure that the controls are to my liking because it's really weird to play a game. It's like, oh, by the way, down is up, up is down when you're in a first person view thing like this. I don't know if this will ever be useful, but I'm sure it will come in handy. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and break all the other boxes. Now, I've never really played kind of games like this in the past. In fact, when I played this long ago, I pretty much ran around this beginning area and that was it. Precursor orbs. Collect enough of them. Some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Okay, but what does a power cell do exactly? I mean, why why do people want these orb things that kind of look like eggs, if anything? Are they eggs? I doubt they're eggs. They're just kind of orbs. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, now I guess I gotta flip the horizontal camera too because that's weird as well. My God. Left, right, got you. And what is this? Ah, test dummy. There you go. I didn't realize there was gonna be combat in this game. I actually thought that the first Jack and Daxter was just a power cell. The most important precursor artifact you can find. Platforming. Ooh, okay, alright. I just gotta make sure to dodge these things. I wonder if I can touch those spikes and not immediately die. I have a health bar system thing, so that's gonna be important. When the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. You know, I kind of figured when the entire screen was like, YOU'RE SAVING THE GAME! YES! What is this? Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. I did it. I figured it out. I'm like, alright, so I gotta squash down on him. Bow. There you go. Captured them all. 
Do your little bug things do anything for me exactly? Because according to the game, there's 112 of them. Contains the energy of Moser. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Ah, uh, so either that's just meant to, like, lodge. Okay, so there's a hundred fucking twelve of them. That's ridiculous. So what are they? Just, just screw around with them? Oh, neat. Oh no, God, it decreases, but it tracks everything to you. Holy shit, that is awesome. How each blue eco cluster you pick up increases the time you can use its power. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't last that long, so that's a real big shame. Ugh. Anyways, going back, because in my burst of econess, I kind of left some things behind. I think. Yeah, see that entire beach there? Oh, man. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. So basically, I use Blue Eco for puzzles and or item grabbing. When I'm really lazy and I can't be bothered to fucking just spam O on things. Can I swim? Oh, look at that. Jack's capable of swimming. In comparison to some other people far down the line in the future. Alright. Let's get a move on. Oh, hell yes! Okay, so Blue Eco can also grab Blue Eco. So that's always good. Hey! <laughs> now, can my Blue Eco break these boxes? Oh, yes! I need force? Oh, man, you're crazy. I just need Blue Eco. <laughs> What in the hell is that? Is that a geyser? Can I access the geyser? That last scout flight had a power cell. Oh. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Ah, I see now. Collect the flies, get more power cells. All right, I can do that. I'll do my best to try and find them, but I'm not a collectible kind of man. I'm an adventurer, and I deserve to be able to smack up any of those goons, which I don't know the names of exactly yet. But I'll know eventually. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. Okay, is there a blue eco thing around here, or am I gonna have to run back and nab sup? Ooh! That's a blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Okay, yeah, no, I like that! Give it to me! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll activate the door, and then... Break this. Alright. So what's beyond the gate? Ooh, power cell! Maybe power cells will be able to do a lot more than just, uh... Good work. Power up that lady's the ship. Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. Yeah, I kind of figured when you said that before. Uh-oh. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos, or one big green one to increase your health. Ah, okay, so that's their purpose. I figured- I, I didn't know what the hell they did. They either gave me health- Did I get all of them? No, I didn't. Hmm. Either they increased my health- or they did something else. Ooh, geyser! I want to jump into the geyser. Even if that seems like a really stupid idea, I want to do it. Uh, oh. I want to see if it could actually launch me. Okay. So I have a little bit of a double jump. Doesn't really seem to do much. Maybe I can power it up later on or something. You can jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Ah, it's for ledges. Got you. Well, I think I got all the things in this area. Considering the game is saying 50 out of 50. Okay, is that all the 
Yeah, it is all the power cells. Okay, sweet! So this isn't too bad. It kind of teaches you how to do things. Oh, wait, no, we gotta go down. There we go. All right, old man, let me back in. Oh, I can change where I want to go, but the only place I can go is the Sage Hut, so, uh, yeah, all right. Sup, old man? I'm ready to be an adventurer. He's not. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And in no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! Hey man, calm down! I'm gonna do your objective, you don't have to yell at me. Alright, now where the hell's a door? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, note to self, in interiors, we're gonna have a bad time. So what's out here? Whoa. A lot of power cells. Okay. What about the little bot fly things? Seven? Alright, so it's just seven in each individual area. No matter what, always seven. Well, I am going to be on the hunt. I am a collectible finder. That is my duty. It's just to make sure I don't die or anything like that. God, I have no idea what the hell is gonna happen from here on out. Uh, ooh! Hi there! Hey, baby! What do you say you and I go cruising on this A-Grab Zoomer? Rule number one, I don't date animals. Ah, uh, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> Listen, if you need something to keep you busy, my father always talked about an ancient precursor pipeline hidden deep underground. Some of these pipes end in vents from which eco flows freely, and some have been capped off so that the eco is sealed back. There must be a way to turn the capped vents on. I traced part of the pipeline back to the Forbidden Temple. Maybe you should look there for some type of switch. Yeah, I should go to the Forbidden Temple to find a switch. Eh, eh, you know what? We did kind of slink off and get... Mm, wait, I think I... Jack is the dude with the blonde hair. Daxter's the one that's really talkative. Well, yeah, we got da uh, Daxter turned something How awful. brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco harvesters. They're on the far side of the Damn. beach, boys. Now, get moving! I just wanted to see if you had anything else to say, man! Out of all the times that you're like, Ah, I should talk a lot and you should listen to me! You're, uh, you're not one to keep us around very long. Alright, so, I guess our first objective is to turn on the machines. Maybe, perhaps, I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of wander around the camp. And talk to people. Hi, look at that. No, no, that's just a scout box. So wait, the scout flies were locked up by the, by the villains, and no one, no one figured that that's a bad thing? It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. Oh man, that's really observant of you, Dax. I didn't realize that when we got seven of them the last time. <laughs> Alright, alright. Oh, don't tell me that you two have problems as well. The, the first I hear of monster sightings near the village, and now this. See those gears up there, boys? See them? See how they're not moving? That means our village has no power. The eco beam coming from the jungle temple has been interrupted. And boys, everyone's too frightened to go out and, and find out what's happened. Did you pay the bill? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you're funny. Now look, if you two fix the eco beam, I'll give you a power cell. Oh, and, and another thing. 
If by any chance you're interested in making a contribution to my re-election campaign, I, I might be willing to part with yet another power cell. The minimum contribution is a, oh, a very modest 90 precursor orbs. 90? That's not modest at all, you fucking... Oh, my God. <laughs> this bamboozler. Mm, just 90 orbs. That's... 40 more than what I just ha- I got! Oh, God. All right. What about you? What's your story? Well, uh, hello there, my dear boy. You've caught me at a most inopportune moment. Uh, I wish to set off on my journey yesterday, but I seem to be a spot short on the old precursor orbs. I would have pledged my word that I had 90 of them, but I gather that your young friend, you know, the little, annoying, miserably ugly one, might have just pilfered them as a sort of a spot of fun. Anyway, uh, would you be kind enough to loan your dear old uncle 90 precursor orbs so he can get underway? I would offer you a power cell in return. Man! All of you guys want 90 orbs of pop. Fine, I can try and find you guys some. I just gotta talk to people and listen out for crazy beeping underneath buildings. What's going on down here? Ah! A numero three.